All right, we're going to do some fine adjustments now, and we're going to show you how you know uh, how to test the water to be sure you're getting the proper levels of drinking water. It comes with this vial of orange liquid and a color chart. It is not 100% accurate, but it will get you in the right realm of showing you where you want the drinking water. What we'll do is we'll take our clear vial here. We'll get a little bit of source water and you see I'm on alkaline 3. Alkaline 3 is where everybody's going to end up drinking eventually. Um, this one is set at 9.5 right now and remember we can dial it up or down 5 points if we want. But 9.5 is the ideal drinking range and to prove that it's a 9.5 we need to test the water. Take the lid off You'll see a ball on the top. All you need to do is twist that ball. Twist it till it comes off. And you only need one or two drops inside the vial. Let the water stir up a little bit. And then you can compare the color to the color chart. So, and again, this is not extremely accurate and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a minute so don't don't take this as absolute but it looks like here we have something in between a 9.0 and a 9.5 now very important that everybody realizes what how important the water flow is when the water flow is fast it doesn't get its proper ionization and it doesn't get its proper filtration when the water flow is slow it spends more time in the electrolysis chamber and thus the results are much stronger. So I'm going to show you an example without changing the setting on the machine. I'm just going to drop down the water flow just slightly there. I'll give it a second and then I'm going to collect some more of this water. I'm going to rinse it out a little bit. I'm going to collect some more of this water. Get it halfway there. And put a cup, say one, two drops. And I hope this is coming out on the video, the color change, but you can see the color difference. It's a strong purple now, so it's kind of in between a 9.5 and a 10. So that's just from slowing down the water flow. And by the way, let's also do this. I'm going to grab myself a cup here. And we just happen to have an electronic meter, so I want to show you how close these drops are. And I don't want anybody depending on these drops. In general, you want to be drinking the water either a dark blue or a purple. That's really the bottom line. That's the ideal drinking level, dark blue or purple. Purple ideal, light, light purple. Here's our digital pH meter. Um, we also sell these, by the way. If you want to make a $100 investment, you can get one of these. It's really not necessary. The drops do a decent job. Okay, so whereas the drop showed us a dark purple, which on our scale looked between a 9.5 and a 10. Uh, I don't know if everybody could see this. I'll pull it up here. Looks like we got and it's going up, it's going up. We got a 10.5 coming out. So that's dark. When you see the dark purple, that dark, you're at a 10.5 and you don't want to drink the water that strong. How are you going to know if you're drinking the water too strong? It's going to start giving you a cotton mouth. Your mouth will start to dry out or you'll start to get headaches or some kind of flu-like symptoms because the water will start to detox you too fast. So there's really never a reason to drink it this small. And it was still going up. It was at 10.6 there for a second. And just one more time, I want everybody to see the color. That was 10.5. Let's look at the color of this water again. That was two drops and three quarters of a vial full of liquid. And according to the chart, we'd be somewhere between 9.5 and 10, and in actuality, it's a 10.5, 10.6.